G'day golfers. Well, today we're going to learn how to use the hybrid as your savior around the greens. We all know that the hybrid is a very versatile club. You can use it as a tee shot club, an approach club, or even to get out of the rough. But did you know that you can also use the versatile hybrid to save yourself around the greens? Let's go try it out. Pretty tough lie, this one. Jeez, pretty embarrassing. I'm on a down slope. I'm in some scrappy, there's a bit of grass, but there's mostly just dirt. And I'm trying to hit my lob wedge over this hump. Not very much green to work with. And <laughs> I've got to be honest, I struggle to pull it off. I don't practice very much, so I just don't have this shot. So it's time to leave your ego in a jar at home and get more versatile around the greens. We've got to learn some different shots when we come across these sorts of situations. So let's try again. So of course, I have a number of options here. I could chip it run with a seven iron, I could use a three wood, or I could putt it. But I like the hybrid for this type of shot. So the issue with the seven iron is you've got to really make sure that you hit the ball first any type of grass or mud before the shot and you're going to fluff it. If you hit the three wood, I find the three wood a very long shaft so I struggle to control it from this type of lie. And a putt, you could easily double hit, especially if the ball's sitting down in a hole. I find the hybrid the best option. It's nice and round in the sole, it's very forgiving through this type of lie. You don't have to get underneath it. You can just glide across the top of the grass and you're gonna get a good result most of the time. It's very forgiving, very versatile. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it like a putt. You can even take your putter grip if you like. Come down the grip a bit because obviously it is longer than the putter. It's not as long as the three wood, but it's still quite long. And don't hit the grass. I just want you to let the club glide along the top. So we're going to hit the ball in the middle. There's plenty of weight in the bottom of the hybrid, so we're going to get a good contact there, even though we're not hitting any of the grass. That's the key here. I've seen players chip with the hybrid and try to actually chip it and hit the grass. You just don't need to do that. And I didn't invent this shot. It just makes sense. Todd Hamilton famously won the Open against Ernie Earls chipping with a hybrid. He did it several times and he got up and down. I'm talking about those tricky lies, the ones where you can't really hit the sandwich or the lob wedge underneath it. All right, so we've got a spongy bit of Kaikuyu grass between us and the flag. So we want that ball rolling. We don't want it skipping and bouncing. That'll just grab into the grass and stop. We want it rolling and we've got to get over that hill. So we need quite a bit of speed. And that's where the hybrid's really going to come in handy because it's more powerful than the putter. All right, let's have a go. Ball sitting down. So I'm not going to try to get underneath it. Just going to go across the top. Hit a leaf there, but there we go. All right, it's run on a little bit past the pin, but very happy with that. And obviously it's a lot less stressful than trying to flop a sandwich underneath on this bare ground and poor lie. And just to prove it's no fluke, let's do it again. So you get it rolling through this grass and you can really get a sense of how much power you need and how to control it. All right, it's gone 10 foot past the pin. I've got a putt for my par, whereas a poor lob wedge shot or sand wedge shot from this lie can easily be short along of the green, as I demonstrated earlier. And I hold my hand up, I've hit that sort of shot. I don't practice enough to be able to hit a lob wedge or a sand wedge off of this type of bad lie. So leave your ego at home, be versatile, Learn some different shots. You need to learn this shot. You need to learn how to use a hybrid or a similar club, maybe a seven wood, but a hybrid's good because it's a little bit shorter than the seven wood. And get something that's forgiving, that's not stressful. Caught a little bit more grass, but still on the edge of the green, I've got a chance for my par. The point is here is that you really have to swallow your pride and forget about how it looks and learn a shot that's gonna get you out of trouble and back in play. Thanks so much for watching. 
My apologies for the bit of face fluff. We're halfway through November, raising awareness and some funds for men's health. So if you'd like to show your support, we've got a link down below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Please comment what sort of shot around the greens or anywhere on the golf course do you really struggle with? We really like to take on the trouble shots and work out a way that you can get back in play without having to practice thousands and thousands of hours. Sure, the more practice you can get, the better. But the fact is, we just don't have, often have the time. So learn some shots that really won't take you too much time to learn at all. So simply, just to recap, Try your hybrid out from some tricky lies. We want the ball rolling, not bouncing. You don't want to hit the grass under the ball. You're just gonna glide the hybrid across the top. So you're actually hitting the ball in the equator and getting it to roll. It's a little bit stronger than your putter, so you won't need quite as much power, but that's great for getting the ball to skip through those spongy and tough grasses. We look forward to seeing you next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?